there are testimonials, many, many testimonials in the records of uh, soldiers who defended Nebrano and Sevilla de Oro when they were mining centers and they went back to the old country and applied for uh, noble titles, for pensions, mostly for pensions and for land. And so there would be a uh, uh, court sessions held where people would testify. They would say, yes, this person did so and so, and yes, they defended Lacroigno, and they were there for X number of years, and, and this was all uh, written down by the court scribes and has uh, survived to this day in the, uh, in the archive of the Indies. These maps were all produced in the very first atlas that was ever made by Ortelius. And Ortelius, Abraham Ortelius was um, living in the kingdom of Brabant, which is now part of, uh, part of it's in Belgium, part of it's in the Netherlands. So it says that this is a copy from 1574. Now, he also says in this book, and this is chronicled elsewhere, this coastline is not by the same author. It's much, much older. It's by a guy by the name of Leon. Now, what do we know about this? Well, Diego Mendez, in 1574, was in the same place, waiting for a ship to go from uh, the, where, which is now uh, Dominican Republic, Hispaniola. He was waiting to get on a ship to go to Seville in Spain. And we have that documented from other sources. So Juan de Salinas, who was the founder of Lagroño at the same time, was traveling to Spain to have his, um, have his title recognized uh, as Adelantado. So, uh, and that meant that he was no longer uh, governed by the viceroy, he um, was governed directly by the king because Juan de Salinas thought he was being ripped off by the viceroy and not getting his adequate cut of the gold. So, he went specifically back to Seville to petition the Council of the Indies to have this area in here granted to him as the Adelantado. Right Now, what we think, the two guys were probably on the same ship, and they went from uh, uh, Santo Domingo, in the, the, which is now the Dominican, back to Seville. They were on the same ship. And while he was on that ship, Diego Mendez was asked to put together a map with Wanda Salinas looking over his shoulder of this area, which he could present to the Council of the Indies, because he had to have a map saying, this is what I want, this is what I'm going to govern, right? We know that. But in this area here, it seems to be remarkably accurate. And the reason why we think Wanda Salinas is brought into this is because of the Pongo. And Juan de Salinas traveled through the Pongo in 1567, I think it was, or 65. And this map, remember, was put together in Flanders. And there would have been about five people in the whole of Europe who would have known that that place was called El Pongo. <laughs>